Welcome to Street Rotting American Style. We travel all across the United States to tap in the minds of those who build and own street rods to find out what they did and why they did it. And pass that information on to you to help you build your own street rod. Today the street rods are in Valley Center. It's a Moonlight Madness car show. We met some old friends along with some new friends, which is always awesome. And you're not going to want to miss today's segment on Street Rodding Garage. As always, we have one of the top experts in their field to show you what's new and what's happening in street rodding. That's all next on Street Rodding American Style. Support for Street Rotting American Style is provided in part by BG Products Incorporated. BG Products Incorporated is dedicated to making vehicles last longer and perform better in the meantime. In shops all over the world, BG Products serves the driving public with innovative products and proven programs of automotive maintenance. More information can be found at bgfindashop.com. Pedro, tell me what we're looking at here. We're looking at a 1955 Chevy truck. It's a 3200, and uh, I've done a lot of work to it, so there's a lot of love in here. Why was it love? Because it took a lot of time and bolts to take out of there. So when you take one off and it breaks, so you got to replace it. And, and I had to go to Texas to go to get all this re-dipped, because it's cheaper down there. So because these cars get very expensive real fast. When you say you had to redip, are you talking about the chrome dip? Yeah, they, I took it down to Texas, and they uh, dipped it in. They had them big, big machines. They just dipped it in there, and the bumpers, and all my chrome and the inside chrome. And yeah, I've done a lot of work on steps. And was it easier to have it dip chrome instead of buying it chrome? Uh, if you buy it, if you buy it chrome, it, it drops the value of the truck. But if you keep the original parts, it gives it more of a value of it. So in some parts, it's, they don't really match up, but you know you can try to make it fit. So, so it's a lot better to take the parts, have them chrome for you, and it keeps the value a little better than that way. Yeah, if you have the original parts. The engine was perfect. That's why I don't want to change it because you know the only thing I've changed is the alternator from a generator, and it still got the foot pedal to start. So I try to keep it as much as original as I can. So. So this is the original 235 in it, but the only thing I noticed that it doesn't have the oil bath air cleaner. You took that off, right? Yeah, that, I got it at the house because it was it was having problems. It had a little hole, in, but eventually I'll get there and put it back on there. And I got that digital dash. That way I can see how much gas. That way I wouldn't be running out of gas all the time. So I changed all my wiring. I had it all taken out and put it all brand new. I used that uh, easy wiring kit. So Redid it all, it's all digital, brand new wiring. That way I wouldn't have no problems. And you say you did wiring yourself? I had a uh, Joyce's, uh, this guy, he was like, man, I know how to put those in. I was like, well, help me out. Yeah. Oh yeah, cause wiring, I don't know about you, when I wired my truck, I was scared to death. Were you the same way? Yeah, there's like a uh, hundred wires and you're like, okay, where do I start? And I was like, man, I need some help. He was like, I can get that. He's like, we'll just, just bring the book and the instructions, one wire at a time and we did it. If you have somebody helping you, that's always better, isn't it? Yeah, that knows. That way you don't catch on fire or not. <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a challenge. So. What are some of the features this truck has that you wish people would notice more? Well, on the emblem, it had a, the older uh, Chevy emblem. I took that out and I got that off a of brand new Tahoe. Put that in there, you know, when you're coming down the street, you're like, oh, you just see that chrome piece. And on my side, I got my emblems. I couldn't find a 3200 because nobody had them. They all got 3100, 36. You can find them all day long, but no 32s. So I ended up taking uh, that off and I put Gator down. So from there, I ended up doing my interior and then I went and did the bed and uh, did all these little knickknacks, feed the Gators and, you know. So where does the Gator come from? I went to Key West and they had a lot of gator stuff and I was like, man, I'm, I should do my theme gator thing because, you know, you want to bring something different to the table. So, you know, it's different. Everybody loves it. And, you know, it's a fun time. Kids have, have fun. They push on that little button. That little gator starts to dance and here and there. So, But that's not the normal bench from a 55 Chevy. What's that from? I took those uh, buckets. I got them from a 69 Camaro. That's what everybody does. It's easier to redo those. and. You know, so you have more room, so. 
So if somebody said, I, you know, I'm afraid to do the interior, is that hard or is it hard to redo the seats? They have kits now where you just pull them over and clamp them in. It's easy, you know, the H&H &H and, uh, you know, different uh, car parts, you know, they make it a lot easier. You get on the internet, you know, they sell it already made. But if you want to make it yourself, you know, I don't know how to sew. <laughs> so, yeah, but those guys are very good at what they do. They, they tucked everything and they uh, put everything right there on the right spot, so. What about the side pipes? Fake or are they real? They're real, but I don't have them hooked up because they all turned blue or blue and green after you know after a while. So I ended up running some pipes that run to the back. It's got the little Chevy bow tie emblem. So and uh, I was like, man, they look cool. You know, they just like that let's let look. You know, it's something different that you know. Try to stay away from everybody. Be different from them. And everybody likes it. They're like, yeah, that's cool. So yeah. everybody changes their. Uh, uh, drums to disc, you know, but I was like, I don't want to do all that, you know, because I, I, it's an everyday driver for me, so I was like, I don't want to spend that much money, you know, I'd rather get some rims, you know, put it into something else. Well, can you do me a favor? Can you let us hear this bad boy? Yeah, we can do that.